Cover crops are a valuable tool in the vineyard. They do a few important things. They help prevent soil erosion, they improve soil fertility, and they provide favorable soil tills. In this video, we'll discuss several types of cover crops and the vital role they play in the vineyards. The first question to ask when seeding a cover crop is what is my goal for this farming practice? There's a few reasons we use a cover crop. To prevent soil erosion, to assist in pest management, to help with soil fertility, and to compete for water in a high vigor situation. The answer to those questions will help you decide what type of seed to use and the appropriate place to plant them. A low growing grass that has good drought tolerance will create a permanent cover crop to prevent soil erosion. Certain types of brassica can help with nematode populations and improve soil tilth. Legumes are great for nitrogen fixation, but they can be difficult to manage and potentially lead to unintended pest pressures. Aggressive grasses are a smart choice for spring moisture competition. There is also the option to cultivate the soil in the drought years in case of lack of rainfall. These are two different uh, commonly used seeds for cover crops. So this is the fescue mix, a uh, small seed size with a little bit of clover, typically used for permanent cover crop. And this is a legume mix, which is great for building nitrogen into the soil as well as providing good green manure to mix in. It's a till cover crop. And you can see the difference in the seed size. That's an important thing to consider when you're doing your calculation for pounds per acre or just setting your uh, seed drill. There are two main ways to seed a cover crop drilling and broadcasting. So this is a typical seed drill, a Schmeiser drill. Uh, it's got a couple main components. There's the hopper. This is where the seed goes into the seed hopper. This is the seed cup. Here's where the seed falls in before it gets dropped out and we can adjust the size of the seed cup depending on the size of the seed. And then the seed will then get dropped down into the ground, into the soil that's been opened up by the disc opener here. This is what opens up the fresh soil for the seed to be planted. And then the press wheel in the back will determine the depth of the seed. And the press wheel can be adjusted, so some seeds you need to seed a little bit deeper than others. And then up here in the seed hopper is a float. And on the float, will go up and down depending on how much seed's in here, and that'll tell the tractor driver whether or not he needs to put some more seed in there, or if he's got enough to finish the job that he's working on. Once you've selected what type of cover crop seed you want to use, it's important to adjust the seed drill um, to whatever size that seed will be. And so you can do that here. It goes from zero to 100 on the setting for the seed cup here. Uh, and that can be determined from the manual of the seed drill. So the smaller seeds might be on a lower setting. Uh, some of the bigger seeds might be on a higher setting. It all depends on how many pounds per acre that you're wanting to put out the seed. So when we're seeding in a situation where it's a no-till with a permanent cover crop, the disc opener is not going to be enough to plant the seed. So there's usually a cutting blade down in the front that will, will cut into the soil before dropping the seed. Inside the hopper is a float gauge that will let the tractor driver know how much seed they have left in the hopper. And as the tank uh, runs out of seed, it'll drop down to empty so they know when to stop so that they can put enough seed in to finish the job. A seed broadcaster is the other commonly used method. It's similar to smaller seeders that you can buy from any home and garden store. There is a setting for seed size and distribution is usually determined by the speed of the ATV. Cover crops are vital for any integrated pest management program. Flowering plants are a great way to establish an insectary. They attract beneficial insects and encourage biological pest control. The diverse plant population can build general predator populations to suppress these unwanted insects and mites. An enjoyable byproduct of a healthy cover crop is beautification. By using a thoughtful approach to seed selection, a vineyard can improve in health as well as provide stunning scenery. A successful cover crop strategy will include multiple overlapping goals. We'll want to have the right seed selection with a good long-term strategy, and in that way we can provide benefits to both the vineyard and the overall greater community.